dear, the door chime. Don't disturb yourself, sweetheart. I'll see who it is. Jay Stevens here, back again with some more Gold Key Secrets. This time, I'd like to introduce you to the obscure and mostly forgotten Mr. and Mrs. J. Evil Scientist, the first creepy monster family to appear as ongoing television and comic book characters in the early 1960s. Created for Hanna-Barbera by writer Michael Maltese, fresh from a long stint with Chuck Jones at Warner Brothers, the cast of Weirdos features the Peter Lorre-esque Jay Evil, his deadpan vampiric wife, Gunda, and their Frankensteinish son, Junior. Though clearly inspired by the famous Charles Adams New Yorker comics panels that began as far back as 1938, the fact of the matter is the evil scientist family beat the Adams family to television by five years. They debuted on Hanna-Barbera's Quick Draw McGraw show in the Stupor and Blabber episode, The Big Diaper Caper, in late 1959, with just my kind of slick, graphic, minimal design and animation by Carlo Vinci, Dick Bickenback, and Dan Gordon. They proved popular enough to return for three more episodes, as well as popping over to the Yogi Bear show to humorously terrorize Stanglepuss in the episode Freddy Cat Lion in 1961. What? The very idea. I got a good mind to write to the Audubon Society, also even. In the cartoons, Junior doesn't speak, but instead utters weird croaking sounds. I love it, and wish they'd somehow carried this over into the comics. It's quite likely that these guest appearances of Mr. and Mrs. J. Evil Scientist were intended to help launch them in their own animated series, and the Gold Key comic book starring them certainly strengthens this idea. With wonderfully brushy line work by the likes of Pete Alvarado and John Carey, their first Gold Key appearance was in early 1963 within the pages of Hanna-Barbera Bandwagon No. 2, where they are once again seen antagonizing the cowardly pink lion Snagglepuss. In Bandwagon No. 3, they kicked off the anthology starring in their first solo story. I guess nobody had figured out what to do with Quirky Little Junior yet, so he's absent from the bandwagon appearances. Someone must have had faith in the Freaky family, as what followed were four straight years of Mr. and Mrs. J. Evil Scientist starring in their own annual comic book, appearing once every Halloween from 1963 to 1966. I discovered these comics in back issue bins as a kid and still adore them. It's no secret I'm a huge fan of all things cute and creepy, worship Charles Adams and his Adams family, the Munsters and all the rest, but there's something really special about these strange creeps that briefly starred in their own Hanna-Barbera comic book series without ever getting their own show, unceremoniously replaced by the Flintstone neighbors The Gruesomes in 1964. These kooky, green-tinged characters were riding a wave of monster fandom that began to really gain momentum with the shock theater TV syndication of the classic Universal horror films in 1957. Won't you come in, Mr. Gobo? We can have a nice little... Ah! You step on the cat's tail. I don't see any cat. Oh, we don't have a cat. Just his tail. Legendary horror hosts like Vampira that presented these films very likely inspired the character of Gunda just as much as the Adams family did. But an even more direct inspiration for the evil scientist family comes from a 1955 episode of The Red Skelton Show, which features a parody mashup of the Honeymooners and the Adams family comics, with Peter Lorre himself appearing as a creepy husband to Mary Beth Hughes' undeadish Vultura. The similarity is uncanny. <laughs> I mustn't grind this meat too much. Ralph likes it underground. <laughs> <laughs> Getting awfully hungry, my dear. Will dinner be ready soon? Yes, darling. I'm preparing the carrots now. We're going to have old fashioned guillotine stew. Mm, it sounds delicious. Why don't you put in a head of cabbage? Oh, it's a 
such a beautiful night. <laughs> Only there is no smog. <laughs> Charlie. Yes, boss? Charlie, you know I'm expecting Red Skeleton. Now go upstairs and put on some skin. <laughs> okay, boss. Could this be where the Peter Lorre look and voice came from? Perhaps. Or perhaps it's more of a tribute by creator Maltese to the Chuck Jones-directed Hair Raising Hair from 1946, which also happens to feature a Peter Lorre-esque evil scientist. Either way, Mr. and Mrs. J. Evil are a freaky, fun, mostly forgotten part of a direct line of horror families. Hanna-Barbera would try again with the gruesomes, the creepleys from Laugh Olympics, and finally, an official adaptation of The Addams Family. And of course, there were more gold key comic books to accommodate these new monster families. Rest in pieces, my dear evil scientist family. We hardly knew you. He looks like a real dead wire to me. <laughs> oh, this kid's slab happy. <laughs> Shall we have a toast? A toast? To a short life and a miserable one. Check out my other videos on how Hanna-Barbera and vintage kids' comics have inspired my characters Jet Cat, Tuttenstein, Space Ape Number 8, and the cute-looking horror comic Dwellings. And from the new Gold Key Comics... Check out my character Figgy Furthermore, the spirit guide dog, a brand new retro tribute to just these kinds of wonderful gold key comics. <laughs>